Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT down. I'm IT Explosive One. And we are doing 10 Minutes or Less. Start nice. the timer. Nice. They, uh, they um arrested a guy. A couple guys. <laughs> Not again. Maybe a lady. When will they stop arresting guys? So this happened in Houston. At least somebody from Houston. Oh, jeez. I think uh, I know this story. You heard it? I think I did. All you had to do is mention a city? Yeah. Houston. So, so you know, people, people like to rap, dude, right? And they people like to rap. <laughs> they rap about all sorts of stuff. Oh, no. Sometimes art imitates life. Oh no! So there was a man. Oh no! Who got arrested for robbing ATM technicians with a group of people, four of them. Come to find out, he has a YouTube channel. He has raps about robbing ATMs on his YouTube channel. <laughs> so. <sighs> <laughs> He's like, no, 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 that wasn't me. They're like, you rap about robbing ATMs, oh, yo. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, dude. I mean, at least he was keeping it real. Wasn't there another rapper who rapped about murdering people? I feel and- like every rapper that has ever been convicted has had their music used against them. Because they rap about murdering people or rap about a certain person they killed. And then they're like, I mean, you know, I think you actually did that. There was a little TK who did that. And he's been in jail for like three years now. There's also... What was this? OG Melly, who I, actually killed his best friend and oh, drove that's... around with him in the back of his car for for a period of time, and then made a song about it where he talked about it, and now he's in jail. Yeah, because he was part of that. The, there was like there was like two or three of them or something, right? And then they like uh, yeah, I don't. It was like I, his, I, story, thought, I think I read about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think yeah that he, was, he I killed think his that... best friend and then like yeah, yeah. something Melly, OG Melly, O W Melly or something. Yeah, dude. OMG Melly. Oh my God, Melly. Yeah, dude. But uh, yeah, I mean, like, look, it's it's strictly a rapper problem because like they have to put that art out there and. They say it's like the best form of art comes from the heart or it comes from reality. It comes right, from right. actual emotion and like, you know, we're a better place to tap into that emotion than that one time I committed murder <laughs> <laughs> or that one time I robbed and scared the hell out of somebody at an ATM. So, you know, fair. Yeah, dude. Fair. I just, it's like, it's like the people, it's just like you're out there doing something and you're like putting it on Facebook. And you're, <clears throat> That's nuts. I was going to throw out this January 6th thing because there's tons of people who incriminated themselves by posting it on social media and stuff that and that's the same same idea yeah same like, idea yeah that's like the white extremist version <laughs> of it look i'm telling you man is that uh, fucking i'm sorry that hood black people and conservatives are so very close alike <laughs> so very close <laughs> like just, just they go about things in different ways, but yeah, it's very similar. Like the trailer park and the and the hood are so close together. They you, really are, dude. They, they really it are. really is. They it's really just are. they they both have their different stereotypes, but yeah. they both you know, yeah. Some of the sure. same ideas, like I ain't taking that vaccine. That's both. Yeah. That's both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's both. Yeah, man. It's it's interesting. The, it's, the it's, government is watching over us, everything we do. That's that's well, that's everybody. Yeah. Every, everybody yeah. believes that. But you know, that that's actually a really good point because it I think it shows more that it's just a it's a poverty thing over yeah. a over a race thing. Oh, it's, yeah. it's like if you're if you're in poverty and you're uneducated and you're whatever you're going to believe random crazy BS, whether you're white, black, Mexican, yep. it don't flick, flip and matter. Yep. You're going to, you're going to believe some crazy shit because <laughs> I'm going to have to say is that the majority of flat earthers make under $30,000 a year. <laughs> I'm just, I don't look and you can, you can look it up if you want to. I feel like that's the truth. I would, I, I would, feel uh, like that's I would put a bet on that and say you're yeah. right. Yeah. I would not deny that at all. Oh it's, it's just, it just blows my mind. You know, and it's, well, yeah, the stuff that people are out here believing and preaching and talking about, and I'm just like, yo, like, yeah, and it, and it's always, but, and I guess that's true because, it, and I think a lot of it comes down to education because like, <laughs> because if you're, you know, even high school education compared to college education, the amount, the thought process you have to put into work in high school is barely anything. You don't think a lot of deep next level, big picture stuff. So if you never go to college and never experience that next level thing, you don't even understand that that's a way to think. So you're just like, oh, things are laid out very plainly. What is there is what's there. There's nothing, you know, there's, it's like, this doesn't, 
But then when you go to that next level and you get a degree, you know, even associates to bachelors, even that, that, you know, it, it always, there's always that next level thinking that you're like, but let's keep it a bug, John. This college ain't for everybody. No, you know, some stupid people. Yes. You know, you, that's why they have like trade school. I'm friends with some dumb motherfuckers. Yeah. Joe, people, dumb people can earn a, earn a learn a skill and they still can make learn a, lot a of skill but i don't think they would succeed well, right. in the well, college just environment you can put, just because you can like wire a house or wire or, or hook up plumbing or do some hvac work like a pro doesn't mean you smart <laughs> you can fix an air conditioner but... right exactly like you can you can you know you can re you can wire a whole damn house but that yeah. don't mean you know how to like budget yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, you don't understand how your actions affect other people. Oh, my God. And it's just like, and like, I can think back to high school and I can, like, see some of the people where I'm like, no, nah, that person definitely didn't go to college. No, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, definitely didn't. I yeah. wonder where some of these individuals are now, though. Yeah, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I wonder. The worst thing is that when a person that is clearly, like, dumber than you is more successful. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of celebrities like that. Right? Yeah, dude. You know they dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> or crazy. Yeah, yeah, dude. Or and I'm crazy. like, I got this big old brain with lots of education. I'm smart as F. <laughs> and I can't get rich. What's wrong with me? <laughs> that makes me depressed. I saw a meme that was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I met this girl off Tinder. I hope she's not crazy. And then it was like the girl off Tinder was a picture of Amber Heard, like <laughs> looking behind her shoulder and smiling. <laughs> I saw that they're very, they're very much memeing that. I saw oh, that about yeah. something else yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, dude. It's uh, yeah. That that I was very surprised that uh, Johnny Depp won. Oh, I mean. I I don't know how much of it you actually watch with that Amber Heard taste. I don't really want to get into. That I no, bad, I I didn't watch tons of it. I saw kind of the big hot like the tissue the tissue photo and like yeah. pooping in the bed and uh yeah. pledged and donated are the same word like yeah like that kind of stuff. And so yeah, I mean both of them were very toxic people. Oh yeah, and uh, like Johnny Depp even got brought up on some charges that some people may say like a two million dollars a nominal fee like that's well right you did something wrong well right because he it's like they awarded her money too it's yeah. just net positive for him and oh, yeah. the main fact of that whole trial was she defamed him with that article yeah. that's what that was about and it, it was untrue it wasn't about all the other stuff yeah and it was so, an untrue article and that did that did lose him a lot of his roles and a lot of like potential money so I mean. I get it, yeah. but I'm also on the same note. I'm not going to sit up here and dance in the street because some dude made 15 million dollars. Nah, this, he ain't giving me shit. You so. know he ain't. I mean, he he's obviously not the best person himself. No, no. So and granted that, like, okay, so here's the thing. Like, sure, she's crazy, but you married crazy and you stayed with crazy for how many years? And then once crazy got too much for you, she out crazyed you. Is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> right. You it's both like are, you both were crazy. You together. both got some issues. Yeah. Yeah. And then exactly. she out crazyed you. Yeah, man. Exactly. It's uh, it's, it's, in a relationship, it's very rare that one person is the crazy one. Uh, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean. It, and, it, and it could be that the one person made the other person more crazy or made their crazy come out more, but it's never like one person's wiling out crazy. Like, Oh, that girl's crazy. No, the dude, the dude had in that too. No, the, yeah. the dude's not crazy. The woman had part in that too. It's, yeah. it's, it's equal opportunity. Crazy. Yeah. Unless she just walks in and starts putting jello in her pants. Right. And you're like, I don't know why. I mean, I'll it. tell you what, taking a shit on somebody's bed is next level though. <laughs> You've never done it. Come on. As a joke. <laughs> Only yours when you were out of town. Like, like it's like a gaff. You know? <laughs> like, ha, ha, ha. Just, pooped in your bed. Just poking fun, you know? Dude, I don't even know what I would do if I came home and there was a turd in my bed. I feel like that's probably a red flag and probably grounds for dismissal of that young lady at that point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to say yes. I would break up with a girl that she pooped in my bed. The only place to poop is in the toilet. <laughs> I mean, I maybe mean, in the woods if you're in nature and you ain't got nowhere else to go. But other than that, like... I mean, look, whatever you want to do in your freaky time in the bedroom is cool. Like, if you're into poop play... Poop play, That's dude. perfectly fine with I me. Guess. Maybe maybe poop was a part of their, you know, their playtime. Oh, and she was just being... She was like, I'm going to leave a log for She was him. flirting with And him. then he turned it around yeah. and like made her look bad. Yeah, some people leave, like, you know, a pair of panties on the bed. She decided <laughs> to leave a poop. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I then, mean, you know, like, maybe that's how they show that's his love language is turds. <laughs> <laughs> <Love> language. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On that note, that's all the time we have for today's okay. episode. Go to thecrazetown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.